Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's Smile Machine. You say, Smile Machine? Well, what does that even mean? Well, what it means is when you look at this car going down the road, all you can do is smile, right? It's amongst other supermodels in this showroom, even though it is that outside on the road, it is spectacular looking. These things are so cool to wheel around. Convertible tops, throw everybody in. Imagine going out to dinner with the kids or another couple or something like that in this car. It would be... <laughs> It changes the whole dinner plan. Anyway, full restoration photos of this vehicle. Uh, great detail been done to it. The color combination is fabulous, right? One cool thing about it too is that the convertible tops on these are very inexpensive. And so if you wanted to change it or whatever, uh, you could do that as well. So anyway, let's take a few minutes. We'll walk around. I'll show you the detail and money that's been spent on the car down to the replica Michelin tires on there. Those are the little things that say, hey, somebody spent a lot of money on this car. I like to talk about the quality of paint, and I'm afraid that I'm going to butcher this, but some people call it mint green, some people call it cactus green, depending on the year. Um, and I want to make sure that I get that right for you, so I'll get back to you. But anyway, in the meantime, what I wanted to show is the quality of the paint. These little styling features here, right? Remember, this is a farmer's car, and a lot of people don't know that, and I'll show you why it's a farmer's car. So it didn't have great paint to begin with. This has much nicer paint that it came with from the factory originally. And so that's why I like you to be able to read every letter that's in there nice and crisp. The crisper the letter is, right? When you're looking at other pictures of people in cars, you'll see some is a little bit distorted. When it's nice and crisp like this, that's good paint. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a moment. And I want to show you why uh, this really was uh, an easy vehicle to use on a regular basis and why it was such a great farming vehicle. So for instance here, Everything is easily accessible for alternators right here. Electric fans so you don't have to worry about a fan belt breaking, uh, an extra fan belt breaking and cooling not working for you out in the fields, right? The carburetor is right here. Everything is so easy to see. The battery is so easy to get to. It's just super easy, not to mention front wheel drive, so it leaves even more room inside there. I don't know, it's just a cool, cool package, and I think that uh, hopefully will give you years and years. Or maybe even take up farming once you get one of these. All right, talk about functional cars. First off, this top comes all the way down. Super easy, right? Glass rear window. And then here, check this out. All the storage that you'd want in the world. A piece of luggage comes with it. And look at the detail of the trunk, all painted in there as well. The jack is painted. The fifth wheel is color matched with the replica Michelin as well. You may say, well, Tone, all cars come with a spare tire. What's the big deal about that? You're absolutely right. However, when somebody goes to the next step of of painting the wheel and ordering that fifth tire, which is already expensive, especially in the replica Michelin sets, it shows that they are willing to do a more expensive detail than that. All right, so part of what makes this car special is the fact that because it's a farmer's car, and you say, well, when you say farmer's car, it's very stylish to be a farmer's car. You're right, the French are pretty stylish people to begin with, but it starts with the suspension. This car is super soft, right? And it was designed to go in between the rows going down uh, the fields, right, in France. And six workers would get in the car, right? The great thing about it was, first off, it was roomy. Second, the floor was flat because it's front wheel drive. And because it was front wheel drive, uh, all the weight was over the driving wheel. So it had less chance of getting stuck in the mud or what have you. S went in between the rows. And everybody could get around, not to mention, it was pretty nice to have the top down on beautiful uh, summer days and just was easy to work. So this is showing 40,807 uh, kilometers, which I think we've stated is right around 30,000 miles um, on the original part of the car and not many miles on the whole restoration itself. So it's pretty modernized in here. And if you want, we also could add a stereo to the car. We can mount it right there. We could hide it under the seat if you like. A lot of people like to have like a classic looking dash, but they wanna have their modern tunes and we can do that for you. And so uh, you could stream your music from your phone, have navigation if you want, what have you. This runs on the highway, uh, runs around town. It's just a cool, cool piece. The windows flip up and down. They're just, uh, I don't know, there's so much fun things about it. It makes it uh, uh, certainly different when it's going down the road. All right, so we close up the video on this pretty cool French car. Let's talk about this for a second. It's almost, uh, it's 2021, almost 2023, right? This is going to be 40 years old uh, in just a little bit, which makes it pretty, pretty amazing uh, that it survived and not to mention brought over here to the U.S. fully restored. It's a car you can take and drive and go to dinner. You can go out and have some fun in it. You can enjoy uh, whatever. 
the, the utility part of it is the best. Throwing down the top, throwing in some people in there, luggage and all the stuff you need to go at. It's an amazing piece of history, an amazing looking and driving car, and a beautiful, beautiful restoration. Make sure you check out the pictures in it. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, 1983 Citroën Du Chevaux. All right, don't forget to like the video there if you would please and subscribe to the channel. And then we're also getting ready to go on a test drive, so we'll see you in the car. You know, part of a restoration is, uh, first off, it's a cold day here, sorry about that. But part of a restoration is how easy and how well a car is to operate. Let's